Reporters call them Friday news dumps, when the White House releases some news it wants to bury at the beginning of the weekend. Well, this Friday, the man who did the dumping for years, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney, made some news himself. In April, Jay came to me in the Oval Office and said he was thinking about moving on, and I was not thrilled to say the least. Uh, but uh, Jay's had to wrestle with this decision for quite some time. It's been a privilege, and it continues to be a privilege. And every day in here with you has been a privilege. People every day? more often than not. <laughs> Carney will officially be stepping down later this month. He is the longest serving White House press secretary in about 20 years. Now his announcement briefly, but only briefly, distracted the White House press corps from the much bigger departure of the day. And that was the VA secretary, Eric Shinseki, who resigned under pressure on Friday morning. This VA story has been building for months. So after Shinseki stepped aside, I went down to the eighth floor of the CNN bureau here in DC and found CNN correspondent Drew Griffin. It was his reporting uh, about VA health care delays that forced this issue there, onto the national news the agenda. Long... I wanted to start by asking when you started looking into the VA health care delays, because this is not something that started a month or two ago. No, it was last fall, Brian, early last fall, and we put our first story on the air in November when we were actually identifying and talking about patients who had died waiting for care. They were actual dead veterans because they got delays in care basically colonoscopies down in South Carolina and Georgia. That was our first story, and that was our first attempt to reach General Shinseki and ask him if he knew about this and what was being done about it. That was a long time ago. Basically, they have tried to shut down our reporting by refusing to talk to us. We talked here on the program last week about Dr. Sam Foote in Phoenix, how he came through as an on-the-record source. The story seemed to grow even bigger once he came on camera. That's right, and he was the spark behind it because, because the secret list is what came out of Phoenix, and for whatever reason, who knows what, that's what the media really just took their, you know, sunk their teeth into. And I wonder what it feels like now for you to have seen him resign on Friday, what that's like, because for a reporter, so many reporters maybe in journalism school think about having an impact on that scale. It's, I feel sorry for him. It's bizarre. I don't want to gloat at all or think that's any kind of a trophy. I'm glad that the veterans are now getting some attention to this problem that many people knew about or should have known about. Drew, thanks for letting me talk to you in between live shots today. You're a very busy man. Yeah, thanks for the story. Thank you.